Hey YouTube, what's going on? Zero Magnum X here, and welcome to part 4 of 4 of our box openings. As I said in the other ones, I won't be doing my typical, hey, I'm going to go over uh, every card in the pack for the first three packs, because we have these promos in here, and they take quite a while to open. If you're wondering where I got these, it's from CardFightCapital.com. Link will be in the description. Please check them out. And we're just going to get right down to it. If it lets me. There we go. There's a little insert. Please check out the first video. I kind of go over it. And this guy is always the same in these. So I'm not even going to go over it. If you've been watching the other ones, I don't need to. <laughs> to be completely honest. And now these pains in the neck. Alright. The Shadow Paladin promo. I think we're four for four on those. The Kagero promo. The reason I'm gonna like kind of blast through these because they're in the other videos and I want you to go watch the other videos, folks. I like it whenever you check out all of my stuff. Hey, there we go, the chameleon, which is the unflipper. Pretty cool. I think he's a staple for the Amnesty deck, which is looks like I'm gonna be building. Alrighty, we have uh Fomgal. Yeah. And the last one of the promos. Oh, cool. Lake Diver. Alright, sweet. Now we'll move on to the important stuff. The packs themselves. Uh, if anybody's wondering ratios, please check out the other videos and keep a tab. I like it when you actually watch my opening videos. So, please do that. I appreciate it. Alrighty, uh, we have Succubus of Pure Love. And I'm not doing that to be mean or rude. I just, I really enjoy whenever you guys actually watch the videos because I take a lot of time and money to re uh, put in to record these for everybody. And then I get new sets with an advantage. But I also have to spend about an hour, hour and a half recording these, so. Alright, uh, and it's a project, and it usually takes me the next two hours to clean everything up and get it organized. Gateway Stealth Rogue Attica, so we have the Strider, or Stride Enabler for more Kumo. Okay, there we go, the Link Joker Perfect Guard, very nice. I don't want to have to pick a lot of these up, so hopefully they're not super expensive so I'm happy about that alright got the Kagura Rare Emod or something along those lines and double rare Squall Maker Vampire not too bad although I really wish those had all just been Yasuways <laughs> Uh, any of the double rares that are in Sentinels I wish would have been Yasue really badly. Oh, okay, very cool. We have an Aura Geyser Dragon for our first triple rare. Makes me very happy, very pleased. We don't have to buy the other ones because they're probably ridiculous price. Uh, toss this and I uh, can't bow. Uh, yeah, but I'm I'm kind of going to browse or breeze through these because I'm not trying to be pushy with it, but, like, these are rares. <laughs> like, you know, they're not neat foils. They're not, like, SP or Generation Rare stuff. Or I make a better announcement on them. They're just, they're rares. Just like this one. And I go over them a little bit better in my other videos, so if you want to little bit more detail on them, go ahead and check those videos out. The bad Kagura support rare. Oh boy. Destiny dealer. Ooh. That feels thicker. Still only a rare. 
Yeah, and only five cards. Okay. It just felt thicker. Maybe it was the grade on the packaging or something. Once in a blue moon that happens. And we didn't get Yasue, we got uh, Manketsu Typhoon. <laughs> Sad to say. Like any of those being Yasue's would be just 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 perfect. I don't wanna have to buy cards I need. I mean I don't mind it, but I don't exactly like it. Oh, forgot this guy was a triple wear in the set too. Um Spear Cross Dragon. So our second triple wear, so gold paladin and shadow paladin. I'd like to get a good triple rare. Something that won't offset anything and, and kind of flow nicely. Or a generation where it'd be like beautiful and other <laughs> spoiler and it shouldn't be if you watch watch the other ones. Another Amnesty Messiah would be nice. Instead of any triple rare. Alright, we got the Stride Enabler for Gold Paladin. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys are wanting to build. Sorry if I'm boring you. I don't mean to. I'm just trying to find cards and trying to slog through these right now. Uh, it's not that I'm not enthusiastic about it. It's just like, I don't know. I think I expected different pulls. And I'm getting, and I'm kind of disappointed. I mean, I like what I pulled so far, but I'm also disappointed in, like, other pulls. Like, Spear Cross Dragon could have been, you know, this guy. And then, when the Gold Paladin uh, Striders, you know, uh, Gurgut or whoever, could have been that guy. And I just, I would have felt better is all, you know. So you got the uh, Stellar Maker. It's just little stuff like that. Like, even though the both are kind of cheap or whatever, I prefer the one I'm going to use. I don't even, I'm not even disappointed that it's not Nubular Crunch Dragon. Oh, speaking of which, our other triple wear. <laughs> Alright, thank you, boxes. I appreciate it. That means I need to pick one more up. I'm completely okay with that. Unless maybe, maybe I'll be, maybe I'll luck out and I'll get an SP of them too. That'd be neat. But I already got an SP perfect guard for, or complete guard for Morikumo, so I'm not sure if odds are in my favor, but we'll see. Generation rare and two SPs in four boxes would be pretty awesome. Alright, got that guy, he's a Revenger. Not going to pronounce his name, because I'm terrible with most names. Alright, so we're digging for a potential SP and any other double rares. Darky regular guy. That guy. But yeah, uh, I wouldn't mind Rock and Amnesty. I just wish he didn't have the price tag he does. Got that guy. I don't know what I have left for foils in this. I'm just like cracking packs. Like, where, where, are the, where's the good stuff? Oh, there's one the uh, the deleter that comes in here. Okay, so that's not too bad. We have four packs to go. Hopefully, they're not all rares. All right, we got the Morikumo guy. Cause I don't want this to just be like a born three packs. So they're all rares. <laughs> kind of suck. Yeah. Oh, okay, we got a second SP. <laughs> Not quite what I w was expecting. Uh, we have Gurgut SP, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's a surprise. So yeah, hey, <laughs> two SPs and Generation Rare in four boxes. Seems kind of good. I don't know if he's worth anything, but that's pretty neat. At least make it so he can be used now in anything that we got. Alright, we have a uh, Lady Battler of Gravity Well. I'm surprised. I, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I, w I mean, I wish there was another SP. But, I'm not gonna complain about that one either. I mean, it's an SP. And we got 
P will to end with. All right, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed these box openings and uh, stay tuned for more content in the near future. And peace, YouTube. Have a good one. Later, everybody.